Ah, my beautiful author. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my boss. Chief Okoya. Yes. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Look, I have read all your books. Your books have been a constant companion to me. And they've helped me intellectually and otherwise. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I thought it deserving to bring you this. It's the key to the scar. It's yours. <laughs> Go on, take it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Sir, I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. She deserves this and more. Hmm? And moreover, you've been a wonderful person to me. Thank you, sir. And so tonight, seated alone in the middle of the night, I begin a new book. Hmm, what shall I call it? Let's see. Hmm. Got it, yeah. The story of us. I have read almost everything ever written about love. Shakespeare said, Journeys end when lovers meet. When I met Reginald, I knew my journey in search of true love had ended. What good's a memory without you there with me? The morning sun ain't the same without you here. You are the summer breeze, the wind blowing through the trees. You make the loneliness all just disappear. Nothing replaces your touch, never stop believing in us. They try to us, but we stand strong in love. There'll be no distance too far. I gotta be where you are. Right where you are. Oh, yeah. I don't want to face this world alone Without you by my side You're the only one that makes it feel like home I need you in my life When I don't want to feel it When the peace in me is missing When it feels like the day is closing oh, Somehow I find the faith to oh. make it through when I'm with you, when I'm with you, when I'm with you, 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 you. When I'm with you, what good's a photograph? You're not in the other half. Why even? I really miss you, dear. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye, dear. All right, sweetie. Okay. Mm. Have a good day. All right. All right. God, like we had so much fun at the group this past weekend. You need to come there seriously. That's why you couldn't do your dishes. Whatever.
Is there a problem? Um, yeah, my cough is here. No, but seriously, do we need to do like a girl's trip over there anytime soon? <laughs> Sure you're okay. I don't know what's happening. Why did you have to abandon me in the middle of our journey, Reggie? Why? Why, Rich? Why? Why, Reggie? You have to pull yourself together. Sharon, I have lost the very essence of my life. It is the end of my world. <laughs> Sharon, please leave. I need to be alone.
How has she been? She has been like this, sir. Amanda, you need to be strong. To meet and to depart is the way of life. But to depart and still meet again is the hope of life. I have been hoping for days now. But my Reggie is nowhere to be found. I believe he is in a better place. He's gone beyond us. And leaving behind all the promises he made to me, Living behind all the happy moments we shared. Death is about the only certainty we have in this world. It's the inescapable moment that we all have with destiny. Pin my Reggie was too punctual in accepting that appointment, sir. The shots were not his to call. Just look at me. writing a book about us a book about what life gave to me now I'm here writing about a book writing a book about what life took from me Amanda you just have to take heart okay oh god why does God give and take? Why is there death in this world? Death has amputated a limb of my life. I miss him. It, it's all right. It's all right. Take heart. We cannot question God. Okay? Reginald was my most dedicated staff. He was the greatest asset in the company. For me, a big part of my, my life has been stolen. My, my heart, heart is bleeding. I'll miss, miss him. him. But we, we all have to be strong. Okay? We have to be strong.
I have gone through your resume and I like it. Thank you, sir. Already like you. But tell me, son, why should I hire you? I believe I am best suited to work in your prestigious company, sir. I have what it takes to solve problems and to profile solutions to get the required job done. And as a graphic artist with an aesthetic philosophy, I believe in designs to make impressions. I can handle corporate designs, casual and colorful designs, all that is very required in this company. And I can step up to work at optimum level. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, we all have weaknesses because we are human. So everyone has a weakness. Tell me. My weakness. I don't know when to stop. When I get a job started, I don't know when to shift focus, even in the worst of conditions, until success has been achieved. That is my weakness. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like you. You're hired. I. <laughs> Welcome to. I have to go now. Francis and I are going to see his people tomorrow, so I have to get home to pack a few things. But I'll be back next week. Oh, okay, good. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, be safe. All right, thank you, okay? All right, see you. Okay, take care. Hello, sir. Hello, Amanda. How are you tonight? I'm still standing, sir. Uh, sounds like music to my ears. Thank you, sir. Um, it's all right. Have you had something to eat? Well, sir, my appetite has been horrible lately. You need to force yourself to eat something, Amanda. Please. Okay, sir. I will. Yes, I promise I will. Good. Um, I was wondering if I could come take you out sometime. And look, Amanda, you need to step out sometime and fight depression. And I need to see you eat and be sure. Oh, yes sir, yes sir, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here sir. What do you say? Well, um... Let me let you retire for the night, huh? Okay sir, okay. And as you lie down, may God give you more than sleep. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. It's alright. Um, good night, dear. Good morning, my dear Amanda. 
You are the most beautiful on earth. Oh, please quit the flattery. The beautiful ones are not even born yet. Forgive my inordinate use of words. But as regards your beauty, I still insist that you are the most beautiful woman I ever set my eyes on. Well, that's your opinion. Yeah, my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. Okay. Thanks all the same. You're welcome. I see you're set to go out. Obviously. I'll go with you. To where? Wherever you're going. Oh, no, Chief. Okay. Where exactly are you off to? Well, nowhere in mind. I just wanted to step out and, you know, just to be alone. One of those moments. Okay, um, let's do it this way. I'll take you wherever you're going after my treat. Deal? Okay, deal. <laughs> Please join me. Chief, why are you staring at me like that? Beauty, they say, lies in the eyes of the beholder. Oh, please don't start. But I speak the truth. You're beautiful, Amanda. Thank you, sir. Uh, could you please cut down on the subtitle? <laughs> it's not laughable. But last time I checked, you were my late husband's boss. Yes, there is no denying that. But last time I checked, too, I also had a name. My name is Chief William Sokoya. <laughs> Come on, Amanda. I am struggling to see what's funny here. You can call me Okoya or just Okoya. That's not possible. Nothing is impossible, my dear. <laughs> so, tell me about your love life. Well, um, that part of me is littered with question marks. Still, I want to hear about it. I have never been married. Reggie told me that. Okay. There is only one woman that I have ever truly loved. But. But two weeks to our wedding, she died. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's been 33 years. And it's just that I I get a little nostalgic whenever. Wait, well, it's all right. Really. It's all right. So tell me, it's been two years after Reginald's death and burial. What's next for you? Well, I have a writing offer with a publishing house. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Oh, really? Yeah, thank you. What about your love life? Would you still open the door to your heart if love came knocking again? Would you still open the doors to your heart if love came knocking again? This was the question he asked me on our last date. A question that continued to bang on my mind like a broken record. As much as I struggled to get my mind off this question, it came rising again in my heart. 
with increased occurrence and regularity. My answer to the question was... My answer to the question was yes. Yes, I would still open the doors to my heart if love came knocking. Yes, I would love to love again. <laughs> to live again. Hello, Chief. You should have called. I'm so sorry. I was just caught up in my writing. Oh, okay. So how is the book coming up? Well, it's coming up well. Then uh, I shouldn't distract you. Uh, let me go. I just wanted to hear your beautiful voice before going to sleep. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, you're so funny. So it's no longer my face that is beautiful. It's now my voice that is beautiful. Everything about you, Amanda, is beautiful. Even your laughter. For real. <laughs> you have a way with words, don't you, Chief? <laughs> what do you expect? I am hanging with an author. <laughs> Just go to bed, Chief, please. <laughs> I am gone, I'm gone. <laughs> Bye. Um, Amanda. I'll send my driver to pick you up by 12 noon tomorrow. And there is something very important I want to discuss with you. Something my life, my destiny is tied to. Hmm, that sounds serious. <sighs> Okay, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow then. All right, good night. Good night. <sighs> yes, I would still open the doors to my heart if love came knocking. Thank you, and you're beautiful too, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Amanda. 
So how are you? I am good. Okay. Now, would you make me the happiest man alive by coming in? Okay. Thank you. Please, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. So, Amanda, what's your poison? A glass of water will do. Mm -mm. This is your first time in my house. Water won't go. Please excuse me. Sorry. I am still waiting, Amanda. Oh, please, sorry. Just a glass of water. Um, Daddy, is there no maid around to assist in these things? Amanda, today is a special day for me. Hmm? Oh, one more thing, please. May I please have your Wi-Fi information? Of course you can, Amanda. Uh, but better still, why don't you use my system? It, it's over there and it's already connected. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Thank you. you're welcome. Password, please. Amanda. Sir? Uh, no, the password. Amanda. Oh, okay. Surprised? Chief, what is happening? What are my pictures doing on here? Amanda, you have a beauty that redeems the shining of the stars. I only came to comfort you after the loss of your husband. But I found love in you. And going back has never been easy. Amanda, you are the love of my old age. My newfound happiness. Chief, these pictures from the internet, my social media, Chief, this is insane. Maybe, maybe love is indeed insane. Amanda. Amanda, please let me love you. Chief, I have to go now. Chief. Please, tell your driver to take me home. Amanda. Amanda, I followed my heart. I want to love you. I, I want to fulfill destiny with you. Chief, I must go now. <sighs> Um, oh, okay. Um, can I at least drive you home? No. Why? 
Chief, I thought the love and care you showed me was like that of a father I never had. Chief, you're obsessed and that is dangerous. No, no, no. I am not obsessed. I, I just love. And it's only you, Amanda, and no one else. See, I lost my first love 33 years ago. And since then, I have never seen the pants of another woman ever. I have loved no one else. Until I set my eyes on you, Amanda. Am Amanda, please. Give meaning to my world and make me die a fulfilled man. Please. Chief. Please. Please. I, I need to go. Please, don't stop me. Uh, Amanda. 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 Then watch yourself if you go like this. It's two years already. Don't move on. You must learn to live again, Amanda. Sharon, how can I live again when everything reminds me of him? Reginald is what I see each time I close my eyes to see. And it's what I see at every waking hour. Yeah, it's understandable. You two were close. Maybe we were not close. We were one. Reginald was my other half. My best friend. And he was my husband.
sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or call your... Amanda, I know you're in there. Please open the door. Amanda, please open the door. What do you want? Forgiveness. I don't know what I've done. But whatever it is, I am sorry. All I did was express the love that burned within me. Those pictures weren't meant to hurt her. They were meant to show her how deeply in love I am with her. Sharon, I love your friend. I love Amanda more than life itself. This is serious. 
It took me over 33 years to fall in love again. I loved my late girl, but then she died. And after her death, no woman has been able to fill in that gap again. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I'd all but given up on my love life. But along came Amanda and everything changed. Sharon, tell her that I love her. I will. Tell her to then. I have no life without her. I will. Good. Tell her to then. I need her in my unfinished life. Tell her to let me love her. That old man is crazily in love with you. I mean, crazy. Amanda, give love a second chance. Give life a second chance. Sharon, but what would the world say? What do you say? He cared for you while your husband was alive and still the only man seeking and haunting your love till date. Please. Sharon, I don't think I can ever love another. A man who could go as far as having hundreds of your pictures on his laptop. I'm sure he has some on his phones too. Such a man deserves your love. A man who squeezes out all the time in the world and stays with you to ensure your happiness. is certainly what you love. He does not love me. Sharon Chifokoya is obsessed and that is dangerous. The man is insane. No. He's simply one of a kind. He lost the very essence of life when he lost his love to the cold hands of death. Remained unmarried in his 50s. All for the love of a woman who died some 32 or 33 years ago. Amanda, you are the only woman who has been able to take him out of that misery. Please, my friend, give love a second chance. Give life a second chance. You deserve to be happy. He pleaded with me to make this arrangement. Please talk to him. Please. Amanda. Amanda, once again, I apologize. Once again, I say I didn't have those pictures to hurt you. Once again, I say I love you. I love you, Amanda, more than you can ever imagine. More than my words can ever frame. Amanda, please, forgive me. I have walked a thousand miles just to get to you. Amanda, I want to live again. I want to have a life again. I want to have a world, a world with you, Amanda. I want to marry you.
And so, in the process of time, I opened the doors of my heart to Okoya. It was also a much awaited wedding. A much talked about wedding also. The most talked about wedding. Some people even argued. this? Dr. Chigusi. What? Worst nightmare. Hello, Philip. Look, wake up, my friend. There is fire on the mountain. I want you to meet me three blocks from my house. Mysteriously, I got a call from Chico's here. What? What is happening? I gave you an assignment and you botched it. You botched it. Maybe it's his ghost. I beg your pardon? Chico's here is dead, sir. Who did the shooting? One of my boys did. One of your boys did the shooting? And you didn't walk back to the cops to confirm Chico's here's death? Why do you have a gun? I don't trust you. Oh, come on. You should know me better than this. What I know is I should be careful in my dealings with you. Do you have my balance? You did a perfect job. We did not die a natural death. No traces, no loose ends, and no suspicion. Just like my boss wanted. You know, my question still remains unanswered. You should put that gun away. You know I'm a person of honor. Oh, I see. Okay. I like to believe this is complete. You did a perfect job. 
and I brought you a perfect reward. Is it complete? Yes, it is. Walk away. It was an oversight, sir. An oversight? Feel an oversight? I planned the death of a woman's husband and married her. And now the man who helped me do the assassination is back to life. Instead of lying in the graveyard where I paid to put him there permanently after all said and done. And you stand here and tell me it's an oversight. An oversight that's come back to haunt me, feel. I'm so sorry, sir. Sorry, feel sorry, sorry doesn't even cut it. Do you realize that when Hello? I helped you make your dream happen. And what did I get in return? We can work this out, son. I am going to son! I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, but please, we can work this out. Just tell me what you'd like me to go home. I left something with your gate, man. You better hurry before Reginald's wife gets to it. Oh, sorry. I mean yours. What did he say? He left something with my gate, man. Says I should hurry before it gets to Amanda. I, I have to go. Stupid. I told you to stay by the gate. Or what do you let me you get to let you So you me. Did anybody drop a package for me? Yeah, Ben, no. Get to to I don't Oh, stupid. Some call Come, come, come. Name your price. Okay, good. Tomorrow you'll have it.
Where have you been? My dear. Um, the, the secretary called. She called to tell me about the case that happened in the office earlier today. The secretary? But the secretary was sacked two days ago. Actually, there was an emergency at the office complex. An emergency that required my presence. So why did you have to sneak? I'm sorry. I didn't want to disturb you sleep. You really need to take it slowly, boy, okay? Thank you, my dear. Morning, sir. Keep the salutations and let me have my money feel. Chris says it's four million in here. That's correct. For what you, sir? For the mess you're putting me through, Phil. For the mess you're putting me through. So, what's on your mind, Chief? Chief, talk to me. I need to know, what's on your mind? I want to kill the bastard myself. Where exactly are you? I'm out of legal state for crying out loud. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hand over the money to the guy standing in front of you. What? I didn't speak Chinese. In this case, it's four million naira. I was hoping to hand it over to you. You see, Chief, the last time I remember coming to pick up money from you guys, I had bullets shot at me. I'd like to see you, Chief. I don't wish to see you, Chief. Are you going to hand over the money? Do I have a choice? Yes, you do. You can go home with your money and explain to the woman you hold in your arms why you killed her husband and then married her. Good. Now go home. So what next? Your sins have been forgiven, Chief. Go home and sin no more. Okay, Chief. Face the tree. I I have handed the money over to you. Face the tree, Chief. Why? Just face the damn tree, Chief. You, you,
Hello? Hello, Amanda. Who is this? I have a confession to make. A confession to me? Hello? Hello? Who was that? He didn't say. What did he say? He said he had a confession to make and then he just hung up. Strange. Strange. I had a call like that in it. Really? Give me the number. It's anonymous. I think I need to call my commercial friend. I need to report this thing as soon as possible. The second is. Fred. Fred, I. Jingozi, please Jingozi, I beg you. Chief Okoyo, you are an evil man. All I wanted was to be with the woman of my dreams. Another man's wife. Not just any man. A man that helped your company get to where it is now. A man that called you father and you called son. I was in pursuit of happiness. I see. My wife must never hear the confession. My silence comes with a price. But I have already paid you. My silence is golden. My silence is worth more than four million now. <sighs> okay. How much more do you want? Ten million. My lips are sealed. What? Ten million is peanuts to you, Chief Okoye. Ten million naira is a whole lot of money. Fine. You keep your money. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, Williams, Williams. Hello, hello. How do you want me to get this money across to you? Get the money ready, and I'll give you further instructions. Okay. As long as that bastard remains alive, I'll know no peace. Please calm down, sir. We have our eyes all over the place. We'll find him and take him out. You and I understand blackmail. It's a book that never closes. I understand, sir. Find him. Find him. My dear. You're leaving early today. I have a busy schedule ahead of me. Uh, please, can you get me a bottle of water? Okay. Thank right. you. Please hurry.
Excuse me. Where did this come from? Um, somebody said me I give you. Weren't you expecting the package? No, I wasn't. What's in it? A CD. Confession. Okay, sir. Talumu package, wash your kuna bobi. Okay, sir. Oga, unige, unirugu, tu paluri. A man brought this package. Amanda, is there something that you need to share with me? No. I'm as surprised as you are. I wasn't expecting anything. A man came to your house first thing in the morning to deliver this package to you. Possibly knows you and you say you do not know him? Amanda, I ask again. Is there anything you need to tell me? No. I'm confused here. I wasn't expecting anything. Mule no ba. Mingi ti logbo so. So gbe moto wa na bo fe sin ni abi. Moto lo gbe wa awon pijo aya ti jo ton yin bo ko lo to tu ko pada wa yen. Won lo gbe wa sa. Hello. Security. Uh, there might be a push approaching the gate. Detain the driver. Thank you. Yes. No, but I played the seed in the car. The empty. Amanda, are you sure you don't know who got this package? I don't know this person. You can talk to me. 
I do not know this person. Then you have to be very careful. Apart from the fact that I am Chief William Sokoya, you are also a celebrity author. It could have been anything. A parcel bomb, a letter bomb, anything. So whenever you receive something like this, double check it up. Better still, wait for me to be there. Alright, okay. I'll see you when I come back, okay? You've carried this weird look all day. What's happening? My husband. Okay. What's wrong with him? Something is wrong. I can feel it strongly in my bones. What are you talking about? Do you know Okoya has been acting strange lately? And a lot of strange things have been happening also. I'm still floating here, Bestie. The other day, I received telephone calls from an anonymous caller. He's telling me he has a confession to make. What? And then he hangs up without telling me the confession or telling me who he was. Ami, you need rest. I need to understand things, Sharon. Do you know that Okoya has been answering calls away from my hearing? Hmm. Did you try talking with him? My dear. Our communication has been poor lately. It has. Maybe he's having an affair. Yeah. In relationships, when conversations are getting shorter with you, it might just be getting longer with someone else. So what do I do? Nothing. The truth has a way of always projecting itself. Don't worry. I guess I'll just have to wait to see what happens. Yes, good day. Is there a problem? Atoma. There is big problem. Very big problem. Who is she? Madam, not my wife. Your wife? Yes. Are you married? Yes, ma'am. For village. Okay, so what is the problem? She talks to her father to make her pack all her loot. Make sure they stay with me here, ma'am. Okay, in that case, why don't you guys move to the boys' quarters since no one is there at the moment? Boys' quarter? Yes. Madam, now nah, Oga they sleep for boys' quarter, ma'am. Which Oga? Chief. Which chief? Your husband, my Oga. You mean chief sleeps in the boys' quarters? Yes, ma'am. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, when last did you see him sleep there? Ever since we say you don't come to this house, he no sleep for boys' quarter. But before you come, now nah, they're in the sleep uh, all night. So if Chief was sleeping in the boys' quarters, who was now sleeping in the main building? Nobody. Okay, get me the keys to the boys' quarters. But the keys no deal with me. Now I'll go hold the keys. Okay.
My dear. Yes, I'm coming. Ah, uh, there you are. My dear, what is it? What's wrong? Stay away from me. What's going on? My dear, talk to me. Please stay away from me. Don't come close to me. Look, tell me what's going on. Stay. What's wrong with you? Just stay away from me. What's happening? What's with this strange behavior and scope? Tell me what's going on. What madness is this? I told you to stay away from me. Stay away from you? Do you realize that I am your husband? No! You are not my husband. What did you say? I said, you are not my husband. What am I to you? A beast. What am I to you? What am I to you? A beast!
Once again, I apologize for what happened yesterday night. I totally lost it. I know I did. Okay. And I promise that it will not happen again. I promise. Okay. I'll come back early today to take you out to dinner. To any exquisite restaurant of your choice. Hmm? Okay. And remember, always, that I love you more than life itself. Hmm? I love you more than life itself. You love me, don't you? Yes, I, I love you. <laughs> come here, my dear, come here, come here. Ah. I'll see you later today, okay? And don't miss me too much. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest mistake of my life. Mistake? What are you talking about? Chief Okoya is a beast. That man is a beast. Chief? A beast? Do you know he tried to kill me last night? He almost killed me last night. I don't understand. What really happened? Look, I cannot talk right now, okay? I'm moving out. I'm packing my things out of this house right now. I'm going to an undisclosed location, okay? I'll give you all the information later. Don't tell anybody about this, okay? I'll call you later. Okay, okay. But please be careful. All right, okay, call you back.
What nonsense do you think you're doing? I want out of this marriage. And you do not. I didn't speak Spanish in Hoya. I said I want out of this marriage. You want out? Your reason being? My reason being the man I now live with is not the man I married. The disparity is too horrifying for me. Sit. I am done and over with this marriage. My lawyers will serve you with the divorce papers. Sit. I am not sitting down. I am leaving. Sit there, woman! Sit down there! I am not sitting, I am leaving! You will do no such thing! Sit! What? You will do no such thing. It... Who is that? Let me have the phone. Let me have the phone! Thanks for your information. I love you. I love you. Tell me you love me too. My wife does not leave this house. Yes, sir. If she does, yes, sir. I'm fine. Yes, sir.
been over five weeks. Five weeks and you still haven't found him. Five weeks! I'm so sorry, sir. But trust me, we will find him. I have the entire city wired. Same old story, Phil. Same old story! Look, I want to hear something different. I want to hear that you have found him and have taken him out. That's what I want to hear. Certainly, sir. Turn that damn thing off. Turn it off. Turn that damn thing off and turn it off. Turn it off. Good boy. Boy, sir. Turn that thing off, my friend. Turn it off. Hello, Boone. What? You found him? You found him. Hello? Hello? Call him. Call him back now. Call him back. Go, go ahead. Call him back. Yes, go and talk to me. Yeah, it's fine. I'm safe. So, where is he? Find out the room number. Oh, beautiful. We shall all meet at the warehouse then. Thank you. Thank you. Where is he and what's the room number? Where is he and what's the room number? Anyway, don't mind. Make all the concrete arrangements and let me do the shooting. Sir. That's an order! Make the arrangements and get out. Go! One more of those stupid questions and I'll get a bullet through your head. Where the hell is Chigozie? Who is Chigozie? I, I, I checked into this hotel. Two hours ago. Hello? 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 You're pointing your gun at an innocent soul. You see? I checked out at that same hotel three hours ago. We can sort this out. You see, Chief? I already have everything sorted out. As we talk now, your partner in crime is dead. What? What's her name again? Phil? She died so peacefully. No! Yeah. I forced her to make a confession against you, which will submit to the police. And she testified so horribly against you. Jigozi, we we can. You will rot in prison for the rest of your miserable life. Amanda, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to get your things ready. We have a plane to catch. Why are we running away? My dear, we have to go abroad and create a new beginning. My question still remains unanswered. Why are we running away? Because we are in the belly of the beast in this environment, that's why. So please go get your things ready, please. Or is it because you don't want to hear the confession? Confession? Yes. <laughs> what confession? That you were so in love and obsessed with me that you masterminded my husband's death just to have me all to yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. I visited your mystery room. I saw everything. I saw my pictures. I saw our pictures. Stop, stop, stop. I saw the writings on the wall. Stop! You would take Reginald out and have Amanda, Amanda stop, all to stop, yourself. Stop! Reginald must die! Stop! 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 And if I don't stop? Stop this madness right now, Amanda! Stop! Stop it! Or you will kill me just like you killed my husband. Reginald didn't deserve you. I deserve you. He stood in my way of happiness. 
He had to go. He had to die. He deserved to die. So you killed him? Yes, I did. And Amanda, I will shoot you if you move a step further. Don't dare me. Amanda, don't dare me. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. Don't dare me. Very well then. Chief Williams Okoya. Not a night with you in this house. Hmm? I don't care if you kill me or you shoot me this very second. I am leaving you for good. This marriage is over. Amanda, don't stand me. Don't stand me, Amanda. Don't stand me. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. I will shoot you, Amanda. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. If you move it, I will shoot you, Amanda. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. Please. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Sunshine, if it wasn't for me. There wouldn't be joy if it wasn't for pain. Both sides of life I have tested. And now here I am, back at one. Back at the same spot where I started. This book is a tacit proof that fairy tales do not always have happy endings. My Reginald. My Reginald. He's <laughs> nowhere to be found. What becomes of me? What becomes of my dream to be a happily married woman with a loving husband and children? What becomes of my dream to capture happiness? They say time is magical. And so I'll wait. Maybe the lightning of miracles may strike. Maybe the sun will rise again. Maybe love and happiness may come knocking again. Maybe. And I choose to change the title of this book. It is no longer the story of us. I now choose to call it Behind the face, the beast behind the face. 